Hey guys, welcome to another day of inequalities, your favorite subject, right? Complete with our warning, which I'll get to in a second. My students will get that um, pretty well. Anyway, um, so inequalities, just a kind of a quick recap on stuff you guys should already know. There's the four types of inequality symbols. You're greater than or less than, equal to which when you graph them, they would have a closed circle at that number, right? And when you do the interval notation, there would be a bracket at whatever number has a closed circle on your graph, right? Uh, if it's a regular inequality symbol, you'd use an open circle and you'd use a parenthesis at that number on your graph um, when you're doing the interval notation. And just another note, if it's going off to infinity, Basically, these parentheses mean it gets close to but doesn't quite equal it, right? You can never actually equal infinity, so infinity will always have a parenthesis. The bracket means it does include that exact number in that range, just not infinitely close to it, right? So, when we are doing multi-step inequalities, these are going to be pretty much the same as multi-step equations. You're going to have those same four general steps. You always look to distribute first. If there's anything to distribute, you do that first. Then you combine like terms. And then you move the variable to one side if it's on both sides. And then at that point, it should just be a party problem and you solve. The thing that makes them different, besides having to graph and do the interval notation, is you have the warning, right? Anytime you multiply or divide a negative number to the other side of the inequality, means going to the other side, not distributing a negative on the same side, but actually moving it across the inequality sign. If you move a negative number, it has to be negative, it will flip the inequality sign. So instead of being less than, it would be greater than. Okay? All right. That's the one thing you always have to watch out for um, when you're doing inequalities. And really, you should be at that point now where when you divide by a negative with inequalities, you get that warning in your head that kind of tells you that, oh, I need to do something, I need to flip that sign, right? Okay, let's do a couple of examples. I won't spend too long on this, because again, you guys, this is review. You guys have did pretty well on this this year too. But looking at this first problem I have here, there is um, nothing to distribute. I do have like terms though right here. Negative x and negative 3x can combine to become negative 4x, right? And that's less than or equal to 20. Okay? There's only variable on one side, so what's left is a party problem and this is just a one-step equation, right? It's just the best friend in the host. So to get rid of the best friend, I have to divide by negative 4 to each side. And that gives me my warning. <laughs> Telling me I need to flip this sign, right? Because I divided by a negative to each side of the inequality, so it becomes greater than or equal to a negative 5. That's one of my three answers, right? Now I have to graph it. So I do my number line. And depending on what your teacher usually wanted, I always told my students just to do the number in question and the number before it and the number after it. Okay, so I did three numbers. Some just said one number and uh, whatever works for you. And then we put our circle. This has the equal to, which means it's going to be a closed circle. So I put a closed circle at negative five. And my rule of thumb is if it is eating the variable, so alligator, grump, 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 grump. It's eating the variable, it's gonna go to the right, right? If it's eating the number, it's gonna go to the left. This alligator's eating the variable, so he is a right alligator, he goes to the right. Okay, so there's your graph, and then you do your interval notation. Again, interval notation is just the least number, greatest number. Usually easiest to look at the graph for that, right? If we got the least number is the circle, and the greatest number is going off forever to the right, we would have negative five and positive infinity, because to the right is the positive direction, right? 
This is a closed circle, negative 5, so it's going to have a bracket. If it had been an open circle, it would be a parenthesis. And then infinities will always have a parenthesis because you can never equal infinity. And that's it. Those are your three answers for that problem. Not too bad, right? Let's try another one. So let's look here. This one. So again, first step, distribute if I can. Nothing to distribute. Combine like terms. Look, I got some like terms on this side. Combine those, I would get negative 8r is less than negative 8 minus 6r. Okay. Next step is to move the variable to one side. So if I'm trying to move the variable to one side, the easiest way to get the variable isolated without adding another step would be to move this variable, since this variable is already by itself, move this variable away. So I usually move the smaller var number anyway, but it's really up to you. But anyway, so if I add 6r, now I'm not multiplying or dividing, right? So that does not do anything to my inequality side. But the negative 6r and positive 6r would cancel out there. And this would become negative 2r is less than negative 8. Now what's left should be a party problem. And it's just a one-step equation, right? So I'm going to divide by the best friend here. Get rid of him. And I divided by negative 2 to each side, which, warning, <laughs> I divided by a negative. And it's an inequality, which means that sign has to flip the other way. So r is now going to be greater than positive 4. And that is one answer. Then I'm going to do my graph. So it's a positive 4. And I have a 3 and a 5. It's a regular inequality symbol, so it's going to be an open circle. And it's... Eating the R, right? So that means it is a going to the right. That means the variables are representing everything bigger than four. So it's going to go to the right. Okay. And then last step, least number, greatest number. Least number is going to be four. Greatest number is going off to infinity. So infinity. Four doesn't quite equal it because it's got the open circle, right? So I'm going to use a parenthesis. And then infinity will always have a parenthesis. And that would be your three answers right there. Not too tough, right? Again, if you have any questions, email your teachers. We're here to help. We love to help. We love to hear from you. Let us know. Um, and I will see you guys out there.